Hey guys, this is Kunal from Trading Sim. I wanted to uh, do a trade recap on a trade from last week on a ticker symbol called PAY, which is Verifone Systems. Um, this was an interesting, interesting trade um, that that played out, and I thought it would be good for me to walk you through exactly what happened and how you could have actually traded it to make money. Um, so before I get started, um, just wanted to. Um, talk to the people that are new to trading sim and that don't really know what it is um, this tool that I'm actually going to do this trade recap with is a, um, a, a basically a market replay tool you can look at it as like a DVR that you would use um, to record a television show and play it back at any moment in time that you when you when you're free basically and so um, that that that's kind of how you want to look at trading sim right we've we've basically recorded over two years worth of um, data um, real live data that we've that we've gotten from the exchanges and um, we basically use that data to replay a market as if you were essentially trading it live and so you can see we have a calendar down here and you know I can go back as far as I want um, and select any day in history right and so I, I selected uh, June 17th in 2015 and so um, this simulator will allow you to start trading this day from 9.30 all the way to 4 p.m. Um, so I, I just wanted to make sure you guys understood um, this is not a real like a live trading um, application you're not going to hook it up to some brokerage account this is strictly for educational purposes and for you to learn it's an environment that's that's free from all of the uh, all of the, um, the the brokerage sales tactics if you want to call it that and basically their their goal is to, to have you trade and make money off the commissions that uh, when you buy and sell we're not really there to do that we're there for you guys to learn um, and so anyways I'll, uh, I'll get off my spiel there but I just want to make sure you guys who have never seen trading some understand what it is um, so I'm gonna go back to this trade example um, for pay and, and guys over here when I click this this is our this is our replay speeds uh, these are our replay speeds, and so you'll basically be able to move through the day as quickly as you want. Um, if you want to move just a little bit quicker, you can go 2, 3, or 5x. Um, and then uh, to move pretty fast, you're going to use the uh, minute per second setting here. Um, so this trade example, as I said earlier, is going to be on pay. And um, if we pull up the daily chart before we get into the trade itself, you're going to notice I've um, outlined the last major swing low, and this is going to be important based on what you see when I hit the play button here. Um, right, this stock had a major gap down. It's it's down near 1984. It's down 30 percent. Um, the uh, the last swing low here, major low, was 20.14, um, and the stock you know then ran about 50 percent up to the most recent peak back in April. And so now what we've done here is we've gapped down significantly. This is a major move lower. Um, and as a day trader, which what I'm thinking immediately is this stock has just gapped down 30%. How much more does it really have in it? It's um, um, so so we want to be kind of we want to be kind of aware that there's a major support level here, and that that support level could actually provide um, a meaningful area to bounce from. And so if it doesn't no problem we'll go short the stock but we got to look for a setup either way long or short um, but this is just something to keep in mind and this this level will come into play as I walk you through this example um, so let me move on to the five minute chart here and actually let me move to the one minute because that's going to give us a little better detail early this early in the morning and for those of you who have been listening to our videos um, we don't like to typically trade in the first 10 to 15 minutes there's a lot of a uh, lot of nonsense going on that's moving stocks and whipping them up and down real fast and you can get caught up and uh, you know take some big losses if you're not very careful um, and so what we like to do is let these things settle out a little bit before we take our position um, and so like I said 2014 was the big level um, you can see we're trying to fight to get back above that level on the daily scale um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this chart a little bit 
um, let me just pause it and move it step by step. And so you see, we we got above this 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 major resistance or the support level, and we're starting to fail through it. Right, we're coming back to the lows of the day, um, but we're not breaking the lows of the day. Right, I think some of us, you know. If you were trading the morning, this is where you could get jammed up. This is actually a good example of what I was just talking about. 1980 was the low, and we went to 1985. We actually didn't take that low out. Um, but if you were to chase this thing, expecting a low to be broken, because it kind of does look like a rounding top that could break down, um, you know, you could have gotten hurt. Um, so I'm kind of giving away the trade here, but uh, it, it could have been a it could have been a bad move for you. So what, the other thing that we're keeping an eye on here is this five period RSI. Um, we don't use this to make trading per se, decisions per se, but we like to see the relative strength of the stock. You can see it's improving um, as time goes on and lows are actually not being broken. Um, so that's, that's a positive sign. And so here we go, what do we got here? 1975, okay, so now what has happened? This stock has actually taken that low out, 1980. Let's see how it reacts at this level. Seems to be messing around a little bit. Still held that 1975. At this point, you're, you're noticing, right, your, your thesis on a, sh on a short there, above below 1980, is that the stock would actually break down. In the morning especially, if it was going to break down, it would have broken down. And if it doesn't, you want to get the heck out of the stock if you're short. And especially in something that's down 30% and that's you know failing to move in the direction that you expected to this early. Um, you can see here again RSI continuing to improve even as prices moved a little bit lower. Um, so you know we're seeing some volume come into the stock. Um, it's coming into that one minute chart 9 EMA um, and so now I think we've gotten enough time in the beginning in the morning I'm gonna move it to a five minute just to, so we can uh, and I'm gonna move this a little bit faster so a bar per second so I've highlighted the two support the support and resistance areas that we're gonna be looking at so 1975 up to around 2014 um, And we're, we're just going to sit on our hands until we get a signal either way. Right, and this stock is not doing much. Now, at this point, we've come into this 9 EMA, and its uh, volume is slowly picking up, and we're going to want to see a break through this level of um, about 2016 to potentially initiate a long. It's still messing around a little bit, but it's not really backing down from this uh, from this level here, from this 9 EMA. This is kind of a bullish sign. Um, you know, when you came down this time, you really didn't come to the bottom of the range, and you're going right back to the top. So uh, that that's a good sign. And and so now this this is key right here. What I what I just what we just saw. This volume exploded. Somebody came in pretty heavy to buy this stock and. You know, you want volume. When when you see that kind of volume, you want you want to you want to take note of it. And um, as price starts moving in, in in the direction, you know, you have more confidence that that's a good trade. Um, so above above that 2016, I I would actually have been long right here. Um, 2019 above 20, we're long. So let's just take. Obviously, we're not going to be pausing this in real time, but I'm using this for illustrative purposes. Um, and so, pay is moving through that level now. Um, so, if you think about a daily chart, you know, we're holding support here at this 2014 level, this big level here, we're coming back above it. Um, that's a that's a good sign for the stock. And so, what we're going to do is continue to watch this. The, the next level that we want to keep, there's two things we want to keep an eye on. First, we want to keep an eye and make sure that this this major support level, which previously was resistance, 
is not taken out to the downside, number one. Number two, you want to keep an eye on this stock and that 9 EMA. Um, bullish stocks will, and trending stocks will typically hold their 9 EMA. Um, and the third thing we want to keep an eye on is this high here at 2089. If that gets taken out, you could see a big rip and a big squeeze. And there we go. So we're coming into that 2089 level and we're taking it out now. And we're getting that that rip that I had just mentioned. You can kind of see here, we've quickly accelerated about 30, 40 minutes. We've moved up a point on this stock. Um, now you can you can see this 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 RSI doesn't mean it's going to stop, but it's it's up at 95. It's getting pretty overbought, um, and so we're going to look for signs of this thing topping out. And so again, we're still holding that nine EMA. You know, we came up to this high here, 22.15, and we're testing it again. Let's see what happens. You know, it's, it's, it's failing there. Now, here we go. So this this topping formation, this is very interesting. This is something you want to note. That 22.25 tick on this bar took out a 22.18 high. That's a fake out. And it, and it faked you out, it juked you to the upside for those late late buyers that came in and thought this was free money. And it took out this this support here at 2080 and you can see that I'd be out of this stock at this point I'm done um, and so let's just see what continues to happen here and th now we've entered into a bearish configuration kind of tailing down into the end of the day here um, so I, th I think I hope that video helped and uh, helped explain how you would trade something like this um, if you have any questions email us at admin at tradingsim.com and uh, and give us a try at tradingsim.com if you can we have a free seven day trial um, if you if you want to take your trading to the next level I think trading sim can help you do that um, all right take care bye